here's what it looks like when you load Boots and Cats, just like any other drum rack. And the reason why is because Boots and Cats is actually a drum rack being generated by a sequencer. So to enter Boots and Cats sequencer, what you have to do is double click on the second button right up here. And you have device mode activated. You'll notice that the it says linked beats right over here. And the reason for that is because this module here is actually the master module. And let me give you a more close up view here. This is actually the master module. And I'm just going to turn that so you can see what happens. See that the linked beats becomes individual beats. I'm going to go back to linked once again. And I will show you that the master knob is, in, is also changing because this second knob controls the patterns in the master knob. Now, here's what I want you to do. I just want you to turn the push knob right over here twice, and you will have entered um, the Boots and Cats sequencer. Let's press play once again. One. 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 Your modules are represented right over here. One. Here's your kick module One. that's selected, One. and you'll notice that there's a One. blue square. One that surrounds the kick module. Then you have the snare module in green, the close hi-hat, open hi-hat, and the percussion module. Here you have the activate pads and deactivate. Every time you select the module, you are going to be activating the sequencer right up here. And just like any other drum rack sequencer, you can simply swipe or just push your pad to enter notes. Here's how the sequencer works. The first row are the high velocity hits from one through eight. The second row are your low velocity hits from one through eight. Third, high velocity nine through 16. And the last will of course be the low velocity hits. Every time you select a different module. The color will change. Everything is color coordinated, so there is no confusion. You can also change the rate right over here. You can use this to great creative effect when you combine the 16 patterns, which are available right over here. You've got pattern number one, number two, three, four, onwards to 16. Now, here you have your device mode. And within your device mode, you've got your master module, which is the first and obviously it's the last here. And we did that so you can control all of the master uh, controls first, which you're gonna need to. So that was a logical decision. You've got your get lucky right over here as well. And you can also open the sequencers and close the windows from here, but we're not gonna do that at the moment. Um, 
Next is the kick module. And the first knob will allow you to select your sample exactly like in the kick module right over right below in the actual Boots and Cats interface. Next, you can tune the kick and the level. Then you've got the swing the shift parameter, and you also have the rates here. And you can change the beat. Now you'll notice that the selected module is actually the hi-hats and not the kick. But at the moment, I'm working on the kick right over here because I have the kick page activated here at the moment. And next, I have the snare activated, which is going to look exactly the same way. You'll see that there's a consistency between each of these. Hi-hat open, hi-hat closed, percussion which leads me to the last one and this one is called selected and this is what you want to have activated every time and the reason for that is whatever mode i'm sorry whatever module you select will be reflected in your device control mode so we can immediately change to the and just basically start editing whatever is selected. So between selecting and tuning right up here, sequencing, activating, deactivating, changing rates, you have a fully improvisational fluid drum machine. Now we added one extra thing and that involves the touch strip. With the touch strip, we can add notes kind of like a drum fill. I'll show you how that works. Likewise, whatever module you have selected, if you scroll down, it will take away notes, kind of like a mute. You can use it for drum fills, like a snare fill. When you combine it with the other features, you can really get creative. Everything is completely automatable, just like every other um, Ableton device. A few uh, last um, functions. This arrow um, triangle or square that's, well, whatever. This area right over here is represented right here as well. So you can copy a pattern and move on to another one and paste that pattern. You can also, you have the push mode which actually takes you out of push and let's get back in there once again um, and the down arrow will be your get lucky shortcut that's pretty much it for boots and cats and it is available through audiooutlaw.com. I hope that you have enjoyed this uh, tutorial. Gonna jam for a little while. Hope you enjoy that as well. Thanks for watching.